set on this adventure dude so we got some swim trunks going along with some combat boots and of course we got the gettings over here yeah so uh, you want to tell these fine folks what we're up to and why we have combat boots yeah so we're going on an adventure going hiking up to the cove uh, it's supposed to, be, supposed to have some cliffs uh, sick let's see what we're getting ourselves into yeah so we're Backpacking up this like trail, I guess you can say, hiking man, and be an adventure. So let's get to it. Is this the trail to it? I guess so. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Trespassing, a little trespassing action. Let's get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look where we're at, guys. Just insanely beautiful. Right, dude, if you think about Amazing. it, you, you do this on the daily. <laughs> like, you travel out on the daily, I hardly ever come out. I think I'm gonna oh, do I it more it. often. Look at this. Dude, super beautiful right now, guys. So if you guys don't know, the solar eclipse that hasn't been out in 38 years um, is today, which is in insane because Colorado is like one of the only states that gets to see about 90 to 95 percent of it like the total thing right mm -hmm. and it's about to happen and everything's about to get dark within the next 30 minutes and it's happening on my birthday today August 21st so super birthday, happy about brother. that <laughs> dude right now? oh my gosh dude we can, should I do a little cinematics I've tried so hard. Yeah. That one was slippery. These boots, man, lifesavers. Oh! This is like a once in a lifetime experience for people who travel. But if you think about it, this is our new home. You know what I mean? Like this is where we live now, dude. Like. Big. like I can't even explain the thought like I should have been taking full advantage advantage of this more often but now that I know what I'm missing out on <laughs> definitely gonna come out here more huh for sure I'm kind of hoping we run into like some wildlife dude like some snakes or like a bear <laughs> take on a freaking bear dude I don't know if what would the thumbnail be for that I almost died <laughs> made it on top of Mount Everest guys <laughs> The view, man. Let's zoom in for you guys. Insane. Probably. Probably. So we're out here just taking some photos for AYTE Overcome. If you guys do not know, this is my clothing sponsor. Very, very positive message that they want to spread and trying to grow just like myself. So that's why I teamed up with them. Awesome people. Especially my friend Alan who's the owner of the company be sure to check them out description box down below There's like magical things in the description box in case you haven't figured it out So we just got done taking photos for them Got head on out of here Bam, so we just showed up to this place called the donut mill it's like a little windmill on top right there And uh, it looks like a local spot. So we want to check it out the donut mill let's see also ice cream parlor Which is epic. Come on. Let's go inside Check out that super large cinnamon roll. It's coming with me. So I ordered one donut, but they gave me this huge box. <laughs> so what the hell is in here? I feel like they overdid it. Let's trying to open this. Oh my gosh, dude, a cinnamon roll? Extra glaze. What do you think about that? Do you have an addiction to sweets? Uh... Honestly, if you if you had yeah. to 
Uh huh. I think I have a d addiction to pastry mm. goods, like baked goods. Oh yeah, me too. Because donuts. Sure. Oh my dude, look at this. Cinnamon so rolls. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures for Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff, and then I'm gonna let you guys know how this tastes. So much cinnamon glazes on these, man. Homemade. It doesn't get any better than this. According to Giddings, Cinnabon is still better, right? Cinnabon, yeah, because it's so gooey and... I've never had it, so I can't say it is. <laughs> so guys, if you guys haven't noticed yet, on my channel I try to give you guys a little bit of... A little bit of advice every single time I shoot a video. So whether it's facts, some advice on the gym, some advice on life, you know, it's I always try to be relatable. And um, I mean, I'm 19 years old. I just graduated high school. Yes, I'm not the most life experienced person out there. However, I do have a full time job. Um, I have graduated high school. You know, I've done some like some accomplishments many people have yet to do. And um, it all comes down to balance in life. What you're really focused on and how you can manage it. You know what I mean? So like this YouTube thing, for example, me, I first started off this as a hobby. Then I realized it's much more than that. I fell in love with this YouTube thing. And any advice I could give to someone if they're really wanting to start a YouTube channel is don't treat it like a hobby if you really want your channel to grow and succeed. Treat it as if you're doing a job, as if this is the most important thing at the moment. This is going to be something that's going to help you expand to the World Wide Web, the social media game. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, all you got to do is find balance in life. Figure out the most important things that you have today because you never know if those important things that you have today might not be so important tomorrow. So always figure out what's the most important things in life and just try to give all you have and succeed strive for greatness that's all i can say yo currently shopping right now dude ross dress for less tj maxx some of the best stores you could go to in my honest opinion because you could get some great things at an awesome awesome steel price anyway i'm gonna go check in here i'm looking for more like home decoration as far as for my dorm uh more like mirrors paintings so i'm also gonna hit kirkland's stay tuned to uh, adulting 101 with uh, Randy Cantu. What do you guys think about this? Honestly, it's what I'm doing right now, so. Okay, I feel like this is just super epic. I mean, it's nice and plain, super simple, and the meaning is just like, makes you wanna keep just striving for more, you know what I mean? All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Alright guys, so to cap off this video, I'm going to leave you with this saying right here. The saying, all our dreams can come true if we have the, the courage to pursue them. And uh, I just kind of want you guys to think about that. I just want, I want to let you guys know, this might sound cliche, okay? But at the end of the day, it's really what you put into consideration, you know? It's how hard you're going to put your time and effort into something in order to see the results and to see positivity and spread like your knowledge of what you've gained over that certain matter subject that you've accomplished, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, keep your mindset unfocused on your goals because no, there's someone always out there working as hard as you and um, I mean you just got to push yourself in order to really, really see what you're made of and uh, what you can actually achieve when you thought you couldn't and especially to prove others wrong you know what I mean because there's gonna be so many people who doubt you in the journeys that you take but you gotta you just gotta prove them wrong because deep down inside you're strong enough you're really really strong enough to do whatever you set your mind to so I want to leave you guys with that hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found it any way motivational funny entertaining or uh, cinematic you know be sure to give it a thumbs up Really, really appreciate you guys. So until the next time, guys, I will see you guys then. How could I make sense when I got millions on